Starting off the list is Lone Wolf from 1988. Lone Wolf went straight to VHS when it was released, and it was written by Michael Kruger and directed by John Callis. What we get with Lone Wolf is a micro-budget werewolf movie with a lot of heart. All practical effects, and you can tell that they put a lot of, a lot of hard work into the movie and really wanted it to be a fun, throwback-style movie. The acting is super over the top, but the werewolf and the overall movie is so much fun. Mixing all of that with a heavy metal soundtrack featuring the lead actor as the vocalist in a metal band. It's mostly unknown to most mainstream movie fans and more than likely you've probably never heard of it unless you're really into the VHS scene. If you're a fan of low budget, cheesy, 80s style fare, then you're really going to love Lone Wolf. Definitely check it out. As the sixth entry in the Howling franchise, Howling 6 The Freaks went straight to video and was pretty much overlooked, but it definitely shouldn't be. Subtitled The Freaks, it features a carnival sideshow where the leader of the show is a vampire. It also features real carnival freaks and the carnival is looking to add a werewolf to its traveling spectacle. Good thing there's a murderous werewolf on the loose. This film culminates in a huge fight between vampire and werewolf which definitely cannot be missed. All the effects are practical effects, and it's just a really, really fun movie full of different things to see, and action, and horror, and it's just a really cool overlooked Howling sequel that you definitely shouldn't miss. Based on the book Thor, Bad Moon follows a man staying with his sister after an accident in another country. Little does she know that the accident involves her brother being attacked by a werewolf. Pretty soon the man's nephew and dog find out he's a werewolf and he's been chaining himself to a tree in the woods at night. Now the werewolf is out to kill off the only two people that know about his secret. Featuring a huge hulking practical effects werewolf that looks absolutely amazing and a fun performance by child actor Mason Gamble who you might remember as Dennis the Menace from the movie in 1993. Bad Moon is a killer movie with some surprisingly cool action sequences and gore. Definitely check it out. What's wrong with you? Bad Moon. It doesn't have to be Halloween to be this scary. Big Bad Wolf is an indie film that never really picked up much steam upon release, although having a pretty original premise. The story starts the same. Guy gets attacked by a werewolf, survives, but now has the curse of the werewolf. That's where it veers off. This guy's a jerk, a huge jerk. So this werewolf is also a jerk. He murders, he rapes, he even talks. You really end up hating this werewolf. There's a lot of cheesy black humor, a good amount of gore, and it gets pretty violent. Definitely check it out if you want a werewolf movie that's unlike really any other that you're gonna find. Late Phases initially snuck out without too much notice back in 2014, but soon after, fans loved it. At a time when werewolves were pretty much just in the headlines for Twilight and the Twilight sequels, this movie brought back them with huge veracity. Featuring a blind man in a retirement community investigating the recent murders of his neighbors, very few werewolf movies exhibit this kind of tension. The werewolves look super unique and unlike any I've seen in any other werewolf movies, and the acting is super good all around. Not only one of the best werewolf movies, but one of the best horror movies of the last decade, period. Seems like such a nice place to live.